Today I will talk about the gastric secretion. So considering the gastric secretion, the volume of the gastric juice is from 2 to 3 liters per day. The pH is from 0.8 to 3.5 and maximum acidity at 0.8, so very high acidity. The osmolarity is isotonic solution and isotonic fluid, so that we call it during vomiting isotonic fluid loss. During vomiting and during diarrhea we call them isotonic fluid loss. So now I will talk about the cause why the HCL concentration in the gastric juice is so high. So the first function of HCL is to sterilize and kill the ingested bacteria. Okay. Um, conversion of pepsinogen, ogen, which is an inactive form of pepsin to pepsin, and activate its function. The, f the third function is to facilitate the ion absorption by converting it from the ferric into the ferrous state and also facilitate the calcium absorption by keeping it in the ionized form. Now I will talk about the mechanism of uh, the HCL secretion from the parietal cells. Um, here I will talk about the three stimuli that um, enhance the HCL secretion from the parietal cells. Okay, first, the presence of peptides will initiate a local axon reflux, forces the D cells to produce gastrin hormone. Gastrin will be dropped in the circulation, go, over, go all the way along here, and will affect the parietal cells to produce the HCL. Gastrin will be stimulated by the vagus nerve also through gastrin releasing peptide. Gastrin go to the circulation and so. Gastrin influences the parietal cells to produce HCL and influences the enterochromophile like cells to produce histamine and histamine is the strongest stimuli for HCL. So gastrin is the first stimuli, histamine is the second stimuli, the third stimuli is through the vagus, but this time not through the gastrin releasing peptide at the antrum and on the G cells, but through the acetylcholine directly on the parietal cells to produce HCL. Okay, uh, now I will move on to talk about um, the receptors of the histamine, the gastrin, and the acetylcholine on the parietal cells that will enhance the production of HCL. About the, the mechanism of HCL secretion. So this is um, the blood vessel. Here, this is the blood vessel, and uh, the three stimuli for the gastric secretion. The histamine will work through H2 receptor the gastrin which will work on the D receptors, the acetylcholine on the muscarinic type 3 and 3 receptors. So both gastrin and acetylcholine will increase the intracellular calcium to induce their effect and the histamine will use uh, cyclic A and B as a second messenger inside the cell. Okay, this is considering the stimuli for the HCL secretion. What is really happening during this? Um, okay. Inside the cell, the H2O dissociate into H plus and OH minus. Okay, this is the first reaction. The OH, uh, the H plus will be pumped through the proton pump in exchange for potassium in this canaliculi inside the cell. The canaliculi here for protecting the cell from the harmful effect of the HCl. Okay, so a special pathway for the HCL to be pushed and secreted into the lumen. The, there is an another reaction here, the H2O plus the CO2 in the presence of carbonic anhydrase enzyme will give me the carbonic acid which will de dissociate 
into H uh, bicarbonate and H plus. The H plus will combine with the OH minus to give you H2O again. The H plus will be pumped into the bloodstream, rising the pH of the blood a um, little, causing um, a phenomenon known as postprandial alkaline tide. The, uh, the bicarbonate will be pumped out in exchange for chloride. Chloride will enter the, canic the canaliculi, unite with the HCl, forming the H uh, for with the H plus, forming the HCl that will be secreted into the urine. So this is the mechanism of the HCl secretion.